Welcome everyone to the community meeting for the Harmon Road Improvements. The project is going to begin at US 287. We'll go all the way to Golden Triangle Bonds Ranch Road. I am Alex Alejandra Ayala. I am the, the project manager for the city of Fort Worth on this project. Also attending this meeting is uh, our design engineer, Dana Schumard with Kimley Horn and Associates. And representing the contractor is uh, McCarthy Building Companies. We have Riley Seahorn and Alejandro Vela. The agenda for tonight's meeting is we're gonna show you the project location. We're also gonna talk about a little bit about the existing conditions of the current road, the description of the project, uh, a phasing overview, the construction schedule, and at the end, we will have questions. So the Harmon Road project begins at US 287, and it goes all the way up to Bonds Ranch Road slash Golden Triangle Boulevard. The project is approximately 1.6 miles of roadway, which will be reconstructed with this project. The existing roadway consists of one lane in each direction, and some areas still have side road ditches. As many of you are aware, the existing roadway does not have the necessary capacity to carry the daily vehicular traffic in the area. The description of the project, it will consist of a concrete four lane divided roadway, which means it will have the medians in the middle. We will be constructing 10 foot shared use paths on both sides of the road. We're gonna have dual lane roundabouts at the intersections of Golden Triangle, Heritage Trace and Presidio Vista. Along with the roadway, we are gonna make storm drainage improvements. We have some water line relocations that also need to take place. We're gonna be adding street lights. And we're also going to be adding a traffic signal at Harmon and Quill Grove for the proposed fire station for the city of Fort Worth that is currently under design. Currently, the roadway has four way stop signs at Heritage Trace and Golden Triangle. There are no controls at Sonoma Creek and Presidio Vista making it very difficult to make a left turn out of the shopping center and neighboring facilities. So why did we choose roundabouts? After evaluating both traffic signals and roundabouts, the city determined that roundabouts would mitigate congestion better than traffic signals by decreasing the delay at these intersections. Harmon Road will be constructed in eight phases during a 24 month time period. Two lanes along Harmon will remain open at all times. We will need partial closures in order to construct the intersection. There is limited workspace and this also helps expedite the construction schedule. Only one intersection will be closed at a time and to limit the detour length uh, that's the options that we chose to do in order to be able to not put too much burden on the traveling public. So just a little brief explanation on, on the traffic phases. The existing roadway will remain open while two new lanes are being constructed on the east side of the road as you can see on this bottom diagram with the gray area. The city plans to keep two lanes of roadway open at all times during all the construction phases. And here you can see in the blue, the area that's gonna be constructed during the phase one. Phase one of the project will begin at Presidio Vista, which will be closed for approximately two and a half months, beginning in April, 2021. 
we've shown in this map alternate routes to, to get around the area. So the alternate route is along Sonoma Creek to Tahoma Ridge Parkway, which will then take you north to Heritage Trace or south to North Tarrant Parkway. The duration of this closure, once again, is two and a half months. During phase three of the project, a partial closure will occur at the west leg of Heritage Trace Parkway, leaving the east side of the road open to through traffic, as you can see here in the red hatched area of the map. Local traffic can detour through Salvia Drive to get back on Heritage Trace, which, which is north of the closure. The, pro, the partial closure is approximately three months beginning in September of 2021. Phase four of the construction will be the west leg of Bonds Ranch Road. Golden Triangle will remain open on the east side of the road and Harmon will also remain open during this time. We recommend avoiding the area if possible. The detour for motorists trying to get to 35 West would be to travel south on Blue Mound Road to Highway 287. This is the longest phase, the longest phase of the project, which is five months. So this closure will begin somewhere around January 2021 and end around June 2022. Phase five of the project is constructing the east leg of Golden Triangle. During this phase, the duration will be about three months and it will begin around June 2022 until September 2022. Phase five also consists of a partial closure at Harmon Road, north of the Bonds Branch Road and Golden Triangle intersection. The duration for this phase is approximately one month. The notice to proceed to McCarthy is March 22nd, 2021, with a substantial completion date of March 22nd, 2023. And here you see the various durations and when they plan to start the various phases of the construction project. I wanted to share with you the My Fort Worth app, which is a great way for residents to report issues along roadways or city owned properties. The lap the app allows you to take a picture using your phone's GPS. The app will determine the exact location of the issue and report it to the appropriate department to come out and investigate. This can be downloaded from the App Store and Google Play. The city inspector for this project is going to be Dennis Rogers. And here is my contact information with the city, my email address, as well as my phone. And our contractor is McCarthy Building Companies, Inc. And our design engineering firm is Kimley Horn and Associates. And with that, I will open it up for questions. Hello, uh, I'm George Torres. I'm over in Harmon, Ro Harmon Ranch. Uh, the question you, when you uh, close off Heritage Trace at Harmon and you have the Salvia Road uh, as the alternate, uh, and you're starting in September ish timeframe, September, October ish timeframe, that's going to be deep in the time for school in the mornings. And of course, a lot of folks take that side road on that road, Harmon Road, uh, in the evenings. Is there going to be any thought to a stop sign or some sort of control at Salvia because it gets extremely crowded there and making a left turn is probably going to be problematic at best. And again, with all the construction going on, it's just going to congest that area even more so. And we're talking in the morning uh, for the schools that we have around the area and then the uh, evening when people are coming home from work. 
Alex Bella with McCarthy. Hi everyone, this is Alejandro Velez. I'm going to be the superintendent for the project. Yes, the, that, that's a great point. We will have to evaluate right now. We have a fully developed traffic control plan to um, provide temporary signage and other uh, methods to protect the public and the traffic along the area. We will continue to evaluate as, as we go and as we progress with this project and provide the necessary uh, precautionary methods that help alleviate some of those uh, danger zones. There is no stop sign at this time per se, but it is something that we definitely can consider and apply in that area. Yeah, I'm going to add to that. This is Raul Lopez. I'm the engineering manager here over uh, this type of projects. And, and we'll, we'll take a look. Absolutely. We, we will not. We'll look at the situation and anything unsafe, we will address it. I know, uh, you know, temporary truck control plans during construction can cause confusion. So we will look at it once we implement it in the field. And anything unsafe, we'll go ahead and address it. If we need to put, put a stop sign there, temporary stop sign, we definitely will. Definitely will. I appreciate and that. Thank you for thinking about that. Let me, if I may, fun, fun. who, uh, as we go through this project, who is the actual point of contact if we see issues that we can turn to to ask the question or bring up, uh, you know, we can take pictures and things like that. But anyway, who is the point of contact that we can really bring these these issues to that during the, the project? Thank you. That would be me, sir, Alejandra Ayala with the city. I will, I will, I'm going to put back my the the slide with my information, and you can definitely give me a call or send me an email. And then myself, as well as as Dennis Rogers, who is the city inspector, we will we will work to try to mitigate those issues. And as soon as I figure out how to put back that that screen, I will definitely share it with you. And and also realize that Heritage Trace Parkway it it is a partial closure. So it's not going to be entirely shut down. Um, so that'll also help alleviate. We're hoping that you know the traffic kind of balances out during this 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 phase of the construction between Salvia and Harris's Trace. And also just to give you a little bit more information as far as contacts, uh, the number that you see below my name, this is Dennis Rogers, I'm the city inspector. Uh, my number that is below my name, uh, that is 24 seven. You can call that number and it will roll over to the after hours uh, person on call if there's any emergencies. Or uh, if you just have any just general questions, you can also uh, use that number uh, to gain information. Can you can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, this is Rick. I was I missed a little bit of the first of the meeting. Where are you gonna? Are you starting utilities, uh, water, sewer, things like that that aren't there? First, in what parts? We're gonna start close to to the to the south end of the project near two eighty seven and Presidio Sonoma Creek area. Okay. And there, uh, right now, the franchise utilities are moving, but that area is going to it's going to probably come, it's going to come in with the storm drain first, and then um, progress from there. Okay. But I know that you're going to add sewer up along um, south of Bond Ranch, I believe, where those where, where the warehouses are. And when is that sewer? supposed to take place? Alejandro, do you know? Yes, hi, hi, Rick. Hi. That, those those um, sewer lines are going to be installed in the second half of the year. That is our phase two of the project. We have our storm utility contractor starting actually in the south, like uh, Alejandra Alex uh, just mentioned, and that'll take all the way to the summer. 
And then once they're done in the south side where the the closure with Presidio Vista is, is done, then they'll jump and do that sanitary sewer um, line that runs, like you said, south of Bonds Ranch all the way to, I don't remember the name of the road, but it's going to tie into the existing system. Okay. Okay. And you think that'll be in the latter half of this year? That, that's correct, sir. I, I can get better, better dates for you, but I don't have this case in front of me right now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Does anybody else have any questions? Uh, I, George, again, I sorry you. you uh, I've seen the text that this will be available for a review uh, pretty soon on the city. Um, where can we go to get copies of the hard the slides themselves to be able to review? These slides I can if you put your email in the in the chat box. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to write your name down right here and um, I'll I, I can send you the presentation. If you'd like, thank you so much. I'd be very appreciative. Thank you. Anybody else that needs the presentation, if you'll put the. Your email address in the chat box, I'm making you know, the copy in the chat box. So, so we have a list. I have a uh, I have a Excuse quick me. question. <laughs> my, my name is Eric. I'm the uh, uh, project manager and uh, a safety manager there at the uh, Southern Energy Homes, Clayton Homes. We manufacture single double wide. We're the, we're the first business coming from 287 going towards Presidio. Uh, and Harman is our main entrance for receiving. Uh, we got 18 wheelers coming in through there and. I'd like to know how that's going to affect us once y'all break ground and start working on that road. Well, I know McCarthy is is going to to work around making sure that you're able to get in and out of out of your your facility there. Um, Alejandro, do you have any any plans on how that's going to work? Uh, yes, Alejandra. Sorry, you you mentioned you were in 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 Caliber Collision on the east side of of Harmon Road. I, I didn't quite hear the, the the business. Yes, he's at the at the mobile home manufacturing yeah, yeah. facility yeah, that's, on that's the west. Right. We're the east, the first uh, company east of uh, Harmon, right there. When you get off of two eighty seven, going towards Presidio. Gotcha. Okay, so if I understand correctly, your your business is on the on the west. We're on the west side. I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. So we are not going to be in that area until next year, until 2022. At that point, we will coordinate with you. And our plan is to build all those driveways for all those businesses in the west side in halves or thirds and making sure that you all have access to your business and depending on, on what kind of vehicle traffic you're going to be needing in there. Uh, an option that I, that I was is looking at, if, if you're having 18 wheelers or some, something like that, we can, we can potentially uh, widen your entrance with, with uh, riding surface, let's say flex space temporarily to either the south or the north to get you, to get you access to your business. And okay. Once more, our our driveway is done, then we can open back up. But we we're 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 planning to get access to all those businesses and and homes as well uh, throughout the life cycle of the project. In in, okay, in that, building that, that, in in phases. Okay, because I, I thought I understood that that's where you guys were going to start. Uh, is two eighty seven going towards Presidio? That, that, that's, that, yeah, that's correct. We're going to start on the east side of, of building that road. So the west side of, of Harmon Road in the south is going to, the existing road is going to stay there. And I got you. touching that until the later phases of the project. I believe it's phase six and seven that touch the west side of this road in Harmon Road. Okay, I got you. So you'll be uh, looking at 2022. 2022, okay. And then also, uh, um, you mentioned, uh, I heard that you guys are going to have like a median going through, but when I first 
Uh, Ms. Ayala, I think you're probably the third project manager that we meet that's over this project. <laughs> um, when I met uh, last year, I met with a uh, gentleman, I think it was Leon, I don't remember his last name, but uh, he had mentioned that they were going to do a turning lane from 287 all the way to Presidio just because of the big businesses like us and the, our neighboring businesses that we get a lot of deliveries and 18 wheelers going through. And then from there, all the way up to Heritage or pass all the way to Golden uh, Triangle was going to be median. Yeah, this is Dana Schumar, the design engineer. Um, yes, that's yes, correct. Um, there's going to be a five lane undivided section from the frontage road up to um, Presidio Vista. It will be a turning lane? Yes, center turn lane, yes. Okay. There won't be a raised median. Uh, uh, okay. And then Alex, there was a question. Are you? Do you have any questions, sir? I'm sorry, Eric. Just one more. If I had a okay. uh, um, right now, our property and our company, we're still under a. Um, uh, we're, we're not tapped into the city for sewer, and I wanted to make sure I got 250 employees on that plant, uh, several restrooms. So I wanted to make sure that that's still going to be a possibility, or that's something that I need to address as soon um, as possible before the breakdown. So this is Raul Lopez, and um, yeah, I mean, the, the sewer line that we're going to install, you will be able to tap into it, but obviously that, that goes through a process, and you'll probably be uh, um, have to pay uh, impact fees when you tap to it. But that's, you know, that's that's the permitting process. You'll have to talk to the water department when you want to tap. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is, hey, this is JT. I just, I want to just jump in with you, Eric. Um, that that the sewer line we're talking about being installed that's a totally different location than where you guys are you guys the last i knew you guys you were still talking to the water department so that's that's who you need to go through could continue to go through to go through the water department that that installing any sewer line for your business that's not part of our Harmon road project so keep working through okay. this the water department for that Okay, I just didn't know if it, if it intervened or if it bumped, we're going to end up bumping heads or if it's going to be harder to do it once you guys start the development of the road. So that was my concern. So. Yeah, I, I don't, I can't, I'm not sure about that. I can't, I can't answer if it'll be harder, but, okay. but just keep, keep working with the, the water department. I can't remember who I, who I, I told you to talk to. Um, Okay. And then Eric, you can reach out to Alex to um, on, make sure you know schedule as you as you continue along that process for when McCarthy is going to be in front of your business. So, like you said, they said not till twenty twenty two. So you have some time. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah, just, <laughs> we were uh, we, we went to different scenarios and trying to. We were, we were not, and uh, different uh, projects within the our property that we wanted to address before we continue that sewer tap. So it's good that I have a little time. So that's good. Alex, there was a question from uh, Tony M in the chat box. Did you want me to answer that or? Um, yeah. There's some background. There. Did you say yes? You want you to me to answer it, Alex? Yes, please. Okay. The question was, will the traffic light at Quail Grove be a fully functional traffic light or just one for the fire station use? It will just be for the fire station use and it actually will be located north of Quail Grove. It's going to be just when the fire um, engines come out of the out of the um, their bay, it'll activate it. Do you have any further questions from that, Tony? Do I, do I have room for one more question? Sure. Okay. Uh, again, I'm, I'm still, I'm still the, uh, the uh, Eric, the company right there that uh, Harmon wrote the uh, mobile home developer. Um, right there, since they built the, the businesses opened up right there, right in front of us, it's just a. I mean, I've seen a lot of accidents happen right in front of our property and stuff. Is, it, is there anything that's going to be developed there as far as uh, some way of either 
four-way or some kind of stop, or do you think widening the road, making it a four-lane, is going to help alleviate that problem? Laptop is running low. Are you talking right at? Um, <laughs> yeah, right, right. I'm not sure of the, the name of the road, but there's a 7-Eleven that just built late last year. Right in front of us. So if you're coming off of 287, it'll be the first right going towards the uh, service station, 7-Eleven, going towards the shopping centers. Oh, it's that access easement, that access driveway. Yes, ma'am. First, if, if you look at this map, it's that first driveway. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm on my phone. I wasn't able to get online. Um, oh, okay. So that will just be be a stop sign, right, Dana? Alex, um, I don't think we're seeing the same screen you are, so I don't know if you're going to share a different screen. Let's see. You need to be a little, you need to be further south. Hey, you have your Google Map up right now. I don't know if you're on your presentation, Alex, but if you could pull, if you had the plans up, I don't know what you were talking from. Oh yeah, I switched to the Google Map. There we go. There you right go. <laughs> yeah, right here. Yeah. So, we, was your, your question was concerned with uh, that's a right-in, the right-out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the heavy traffic right now. The people mm -hmm. are leaving the uh, shopping centers coming towards on Harmon. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a huge congestion, and especially for us that we have that entrance coming out of the uh, Shopping centers is head on to our 250 employees trying to get out at 3.30 in the afternoon. And it, there's just a congestion that costs us there. Okay. I wasn't sure. Uh, like I said, I'm not looking at yeah. the actual uh, online. So I'm not sure if you yeah, have that, that would be Sonoma Creek Lane. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Com coming out onto Harmon. It's heavily yeah. congested. Yes. Very, very heavily. And I've seen a lot of like no, that. Not there. A lot of Alex, it's actually Sonoma Creek they're talking about. And then the seven eleven is is north of right Sonoma here. Creek. Yeah. And then That's the seven eleven driveway is north of that. So um I mean we're gonna have a wider section. Yeah, I don't I mean I think it's gonna help you when Presidio Vista ultimate condition when Presidio Vista has a roundabout as well. It'll help kind of mitigate some of the the fast through traffic of Harmon, but I don't know. There's some lines going across the page, Alex, but yeah. So we'll look into that to see if there's anything else um, there and that we need to look at. To look further. at, to look at, to look at, to look at. Oh, <laughs> sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> All right. Thank, thank you so much. So the concern, Eric, to make sure is that X, if you're not muted, can you mute? I think what, what Dana was trying to say that we, we can look at at that at your concerns there at that at that inter intersection, see if we can do something there. I had a question. My name is Andrew Sisk. I work at Bluebell Creameries. Go ahead. Um, so when we're leaving for the day, usually in the afternoons, um, the traffic's usually accelerating pretty quickly coming from Heritage Trace on Harmon going southbound. And so I know with the extra lanes, that'll help. But is are y'all going to be able to leave like a little bit of a shoulder entrance from our business? for to get on the roads or is there a look at maybe reducing the speed? I believe coming out of the creamery, you'll just you'll just get into your your typical uh, 11 foot wide lane. As far as the speed, we we haven't discussed about reducing the speed. On this project, okay. Thank you.
anybody else have any more questions? And how do we find, yes, this is Rick. How do we get the copy of this plan? We can just print this off the city or what? If you put your email in, in the chat box, we can email it to you. Okay, thank you. So I'm gonna see if our, if our communications director can maybe upload it to the project website as well. So, so in one of your images that you showed in the presentation, it showed a roundabout at the Sonoma Creek Lane. Is that, um, is that an old um, proposal? No, Sonoma has 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 never had a, a roundabout there. I think it was just a red dot showing where the location of the intersections are located. It was on the overall map. Yeah, it was a red dot. It, it looked like a roundabout was roundabout, proposed yeah. there from that. Yeah, it, it's not. It's just a, a typical intersection. Okay, thanks. There's one question in the chat, Alec. Uh, will you be able to turn left onto Quail Grove from Harmon going north? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Will you be able to turn left onto Quail Grove from Harmon Road going north? Area. Quail Grove. Goodness. Bear with me. I think Quail Grove is the one south of the or north of the fire station, if I'm correct. But not. Yeah, this is JT. The, the short answer there is no. You will not be able to turn left on Quail Grove from Farman Road going northbound. There will be a median installed at that point. So everything north of Presidio Vista will have a median installed. Uh, excuse me. Does that mean that there's no way to turn into the Quail Grove neighborhood from Harmon uh, if you're heading north? No, as you go further north, just past the urban air, there's uh, the next street. I believe it's Covey Drive. You okay, can make yeah, that, left there. Okay. When you said everything north of uh, Presidio Vista was going to be a meeting, that's, I was just confused with that. Okay. Sorry. All right. So, is there a reason why there's not a meeting onto Quail Grove? Because a lot of people come in and out of that road. It's yes, there is a reason. Yeah, there's a reason. The city has um, requirements for how close a median opening can be to a roundabout. And Quell Grove Drive is too close to the Presidio Vista roundabout to allow for a median opening. It's for safety reasons. You don't want we wouldn't want people trying to make left turns across Harmon Road as the southbound Harmon traffic was coming up on a roundabout. So the city has an access management manual that gives the minimum distances. And just the short answer is Quail Grove is just too close to Presidio Vista, the roundabout to, to get a median opening. Okay. I've got a question. My name is Ray. Um, on the plot of land that's going to be south of the new firehouse, right next to that uh, traffic circle, is that going to be uh, turning into anything, or is that going to be for uh, sewage and water drain off? I haven't heard of any anything coming in in that particular plot of land we usually because there is a sign where it says it's for sale but i believe that's a uh, major runoff i'm afraid that if they build on there it may cause a lot of problems in the future i'm sorry what 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 lot are we talking about is it the one directly west from the roundabout for Vista? right here yes right here right right yeah. next to um we had oh, growth. the owner visited with us a few years ago and there were plans to develop that lot, but definitely that didn't pan through. So that's a privately owned lot and we don't know what they're going to do with it. So for now, it's a detention pond. And they will, they will have to mitigate their runoff. 
as well when they do. Yeah, come they, they have plans to develop it and do away with the pension, but um, the development didn't pan, pan out. So. I appreciate the answer. Um, I did join the meeting a little bit late. Um, if you can just recap the timeline for this. Absolutely. McCarthy plans to start construction next on the 22nd, which I believe is next week. Um, to the. To the dates. Here we go. So this is the notice to proceed is March 22nd of 2021 with a substantial completion of March 22nd, 2023. And this is an, a, the approximate dates of the durations of the various phases of construction. I appreciate it. I did put my email in the chat. Um, so I hope that, you know, I get the PDF sent over. Okay. So does anyone else have any further questions? Yes, this is Tim. And I had a question in regards to, are they gonna be coordinating to make sure that there's no other constructions going on to make it more bottleneck? And one of the particular roads I was thinking of was Spanish Needle exiting from Harmon Ranch and that other um, uh, subdivision by the uh, school. Because if they have any construction with that apartment being built and it just causes more bottlenecks, Congruently, are they making sure that there's no double constructions that's going on during these phases? Unfortunately, we c we cannot control the the private development as far as when they wish to 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 uh, construct their facility. But I can tell you on this road, we will not have uh, more than one intersection closed at a time. So that is how that's why we have eight phases on on this. Two year duration project is to make sure that we try not to bottleneck people or inconvenience them any more than they already are today. And I'm going to add to that, Alex. Uh, we have two people that permit traffic control plans for the entire city. It used to be one, now he's got some help. And those two people are watching um, what construction is taking place before they issue another permit to close the lane or close the road. So they're very vigilant of that. So I'll rest assured that, you know, we won't, we won't allow uh, multi-lane closures by different construction um, that will cause more and more congestion. Okay, thank you. Sure. I've got a simple question. Is the final uh, road gonna be Blacktop or is it going to be concrete? It's going to be concrete. And then the uh, the median that you were talking about um, going down the road, is that going to be like a grass median or just like a curb with no grass or how big is that going to be? It's going to have grass. It's going to look very similar to the one that's on a golden triangle. Okay. <laughs> Will there be sidewalks along Harmon? Yes, ma'am. On both sides, we plan to construct a 10 foot wide shared use paths. Okay, thank you. Will there be any uh, utility outages throughout the project? <laughs> we do plan a, a minor um, water shutdown as we get closer to the phase five construction over at Bonds Ranch, which will occur in the winter when demand is low. Um, but it, other than that, that is the, the only shutdown that we, we anticipate.
And if it does impact residents, um, you, you will be, be notified. Okay, question, do you know what the area where that water is going to be affecting, you know, who's the, the outage and such? Is that going to be residential or, or what? Because you got to remember, you're going to be a year out of what we've just went through with losing water. So people are going to be very concerned about that. Yeah, we understand. We're, we we plan to, um, the only time that water line would be shut down, and correct me if I'm wrong, Alejandro Vela, is when we open up the, shut down the old line and open up the new line. So the, the shutdown shouldn't, shouldn't be that long, right, Alex? Yes. So the plan is for the, for that water line coming off of uh, the the water tower north of Golden Triangle is going to happen the low demand season, like Alejandro said, between December first and March first. It's going to be we have a forty eight hour a uh, lot of time that we can get these connections. These are big water pipes. The, we're talking thirty six inch um, ductile iron. It takes a while in order to get the work done correctly and us not to have to shut down the, the line potentially afterwards. So we'll, we'll potentially be using the 48 hours um, completely just because we want to get it done right once and not have to shut uh, the service again. And that's, that's the best answer I can give you. We'll provide plenty of notice. We'll work with the city of Fort Worth uh, and the water department to, to let everybody know so that there's no surprise to to anyone and that that's that's a plan thus far and that'll happen this year uh, between december and march of next year okay now will there be plans in place that if uh we run into the same type of weather we had before that that's going to be put on hold the, high, the very cold weather and stuff like that like I said, the, the only problem you have, it, and, and I appreciate what you're saying, and I know it's one of those things you can't control at this point in time, but communication is going to be extremely important because, again, people went through almost uh, 11 days without water in the Harmon Ranch area, uh, this, this portion of the city, and they're going to hear water being turned off. That's going to be a scare, so there's going to be a lot of concern. So my, my point is that I'm not trying to stop anything. You can't stop anything, but it just the communication. Let people know who's going to be affected, the how long, and things like that. We understand that you're talking 48 hours. You want to make things work. Things do happen. Got it. But I think the, uh, my question again is just how how soon are we going to know? And and any, any time in the future would be great. I mean, tell them in the in the summertime that this is what's going to happen. That'd be great. They'll know. They'll be prepared. Again, it's just we're going to be a year away from what we just went through. And they're going to be very concerned. So the more information we can get, the more details of what area is going to be affected, things like that, would be most helpful. Okay. Yes, we appreciate we appreciate the feedback. And the city, the city has had this program uh, for you know as many years as I've been with the city, uh, where we notify all the um, affected customers, even if it's for shutting down a water, an eight-inch water line. This is a large water main. Um, so we will notify, we will, we will send notifications, um, at least, um, two weeks in advance and there will, you know, there'll be notifications, um, electronic notifications via social media uh, so that everybody's notified. And this, this shutdown needs to happen between December and March precisely because that's the low demand, um, you know, uh, window for water. So it, it cannot happen in the summer. And to add to the answer, we are constantly looking at, at the weather. Should anything close to what happened uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, be the case in the in the timeline that we're thinking about performing this work, we will not we will not do the work. We will wait, or we will try to accelerate a little bit, but we're going to try to mitigate any weather impacts that like that. Uh, this is Michael. I got a, just a hopefully simple question. Um, right now, when you're heading north and turning onto Kobe, there's a a hill that creates a blind spot, and cars come over that hill really fast, and it's hard to tell when you're actually safe to turn onto Kobe heading north. Is there any plans to level that out, or you know, make it safe any other way? 
Yeah, because that's going to be the main entrance coming in and out of that community now. Since you can't turn left going north. Alex, did you want me to answer Quill that? Grove. Yes, please. Okay. So, um, yeah, no, we definitely are fixing that with this project. The um, that, that hill or the dip that will be um, leveled out for sure. Okay, good deal. How do you plan on uh, controlling the dust with the construction? Do you have a mitigation planning process? Alex? We will have a water truck that is going to be servicing our, our project. And in times when it's too dry and we see that there's there's a lot of dust going on, we'll be watering down the, the, the soil at the site. And as far as the roadway, in case that there is some roadway we'll have, we have sweepers in place and we will try to maintain everything as, as clean as possible and maintain the, lot, the dust at a, 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 as low as possible as well. The city will also have an on-site inspector. So he'll be watching out for those kinds of things as well. Question is, what is the best way to be able to read some of those answers? Uh, I'm trying to uh, get to the city in it. I guess biggest thing is since it's affecting the businesses at down down Harmon Road. Uh, if there's if there's a certain way that we can get a hold of you instead of trying to go through the whole city, because I've I've been trying to uh, call sometimes and it is I mean press this press that you know press one press two and it's if we're running a business and we're a production business ourselves and we need immediate attention, what is the best way to reach someone? That, that would be me, Alex Ayala. Um, and my number is 817-392-8883. So you can call me. And I'm assuming you're, you're asking as, as it relates to the construction of the product. That, that, uh, that is correct. Okay. Yeah, that would be Alex. There's two Alexes on this project. There's an Alejandra and an Alejandro. So Let's make it even easier. <laughs> Hi. Um I have a question and I know this probably may not be the uh, um, platform to be talking about this, but is there a reason why there is not a northbound ramp from 287 to 35? Because I think half of the problem with Bonds Ranch and Harmon Road being so congested is because there is not a northbound ramp. Um, because the suggestion is to go up to 287 south to Basswood and make a U-turn onto 35, which I don't think hardly anybody does. Um, so are there any plans of making a northbound ramp from 287 to 35? I would have to reach out to our friends at the Texas Department of Transportation to to uh, answer that question. And and just FYI, I live in this area. I live north, just, just west of Harmon Road, further down 287, so I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, and so uh, I, we'd have to ask TxDOT to see if they plan to, to ever add that ramp. I sure would like it. Right, because I mean, I know when they redid that whole area, um, the reason why, or at least this is, you know, the rumor that I heard was the reason why they didn't put a northbound ramp is because nobody was utilizing or there wasn't as used to go um, that everybody wasn't, you know, going through doing the U-turn at Basswood. Well, if anybody lives in this area knows nobody uses that, you know, route. So it made no sense um, that it wasn't included in that 
you know, the you do. So if, you know, TxDOT does do another survey, it, it is very essential, I think, that the city of Fort Worth make sure that they view Bonds Ranch and Harmon Road as an alternative route that people are utilizing. I think that is very essential. I will definitely let, I will definitely plead your case because I, as a commuter, would love that as well. So all we can so do I'm is. Not sure. Thank I'm you. Not sure, I'm not sure if you're aware, but there is an upcoming project for improvement along 287. Starting at intersect, uh, uh, Interstate 35 all the way to Bones Road, 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 I believe it is. Um, Textile is going to be improving the entire corridor, and I believe construction is scheduled to start. Uh, I'm going to look at an email, so bear with me. So Textile okay. is planning on on redoing the, the, the Harmon Road bridge. They're also adding another bridge to connect a North Tarrant Parkway to those frontage roads. So they're building what they call a box intersection there. So you'll have an independent bridge to go over the freeway to get to North Tarrant and one to go over the freeway to get to Harmon. So right now, TxDOT does have plans to start constructing that in the near future. Yeah, construction is set to begin, scheduled to begin in 2022. It doesn't say whether early or late, but I would assume it's late 2022. Thank you. It, where can we get information on that project? Yeah, yeah. So let me let me share a little bit about that. Um, there, there's it's really kind of like two projects. Just just want to be sure everybody's clear. It's, TxDOT has two projects. One is they're looking at the whole corridor of 287 from I-35 up to Avondale Hazlet. And and that's one big project. And then they've for for kind of for us working with the city, they've advanced this this little smaller project that's right at Harmon Road and North Tarrant Parkway that they're gonna work on. And that's what Raul mentioned that they're planning to start construction, at least right now. They've got it scheduled to what they call let in July of twenty twenty two. Um, that means they'll start construction later than that, like at the end of 2022. And um, just to be clear, that little project that would start in July 2022, it would not, it would not extend all the way to the 287-35 interchange. All right. So I just want to be sure. Um, just, just be clear. So that early project, the TxDOT's, there you go, Dana's put the put the link on there. So there's some information on TxDOT's website. Dana put a link on there where you can, um, you know, you can go find it. Um, and I am going to put, I'll put in the chat box the name of the TxDOT project manager. So if you really want to reach out to someone and speak to him um, about this early project, that's the um, you know, that's the one that at Harmon Road and North Tarrant Parkway, the box interchange that Alex called it. Um, the guy's name is Rom. Um, it's, it's like, like a Dodge Ram pickup, but it's spelled Rom, R-A-M. And then his last name is uh, Dakal, D-H-A-K-A-L. I'm going to put his name in the chat and his phone number. And he's the TxDOT project manager for that project, so he can give you better information than we can. He he knows he's more up to date on the schedule and um uh, and the details of it. Thank you. Welcome. Anybody else going once? <clears throat> One more last question. Uh, this project on Harmon, is it going to be Monday through Friday, Monday through Saturday? Alex, number two. Hey, Ray. Uh, we're planning on working Monday through Friday uh, from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. our normal hours of operation. There will be instances <laughs> where we will need to work at night to do some, uh, some utility work. And potentially the weekends, if we're, if we're getting rained out, 
in, in during the week weekdays in order to catch up with the schedule and that will help us also in meeting our dead, our goals and deadlines that, that we have in this presentation for all the closures in the in the area okay So if you're unable to see the, the chat box, um, the text dot contact is Ram uh, DeCall and his number is 817-370-3519. Well, thank you, Tony. I appreciate that. I had a team of people help me. You can serve it, Alex. Thank you. So with that, I'm going to conclude um, our presentation for, for this project. Um, we just ask for, for, for your patience. Like I tell people, sometimes things have to get a little worse for them to get better. And when it's all said and done, um, we'll have a, a, a road that we're able to travel on safely and carry enough cars. Um, like I said, I live nearby and I, I do venture onto, onto this part of Harmon and I, and I, I feel your pain. Um, so just, um, you know, have a little patience with us and, uh, get a hold of us if you see any concerns or have any questions and we'll be gladly to be able to answer any, give you any information that we have at the time. Um, uh, we trust McCarthy's going to do a, a, a good job. On this roadway, they've they've done good work for us in the past and other projects they've they've had throughout the city, and so we're we're hoping for for good things to to come in the future. And and with that, I'm going to end our presentation and wish you all the best and have a a blessed evening. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.